Hi everyone, I'm so excited to say that I'm with Amelia at Sanctum Wood School and we're going to be bringing Science of Hazel to the lab so we'll be showing you lots of practicals. Amelia is going to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Emilia. I am a lab technician. I work in this school, Sanctum Wood School in Cambridge. I am also STEM ambassador, which means I go in other schools to introduce science to the kids and we have a lot of fun together. I have also an Instagram page, emilia.science, and follow me to see all my experiments and videos. Yeah, you should absolutely follow Thank her. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> in today's video, Emilia and I are going to be looking at the factors which affect the rate of reaction. Now, there are three things which affect the rate of reaction, surface area, concentration of solution and temperature. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at concentration of solution. In particular, we're looking at how we can change the concentration of hydrochloric acid and how that will alter the rate of reaction. It's a very simple experiment using acid and marble chips, which are calcium carbonate. So if I summarize the equation, hydrochloric acid plus calcium carbonate produces calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. So we're going to look at the volume of carbon dioxide produced over a time period of one minute, and then we can compare the volume of gas produced by the one molar versus the 0.5 molar concentration of hydrochloric acid, and that will tell us which reaction took place more quickly. Okay, so I'm going to measure 25 cubic centimeter of hydrochloric acid We're going to add the marble chips. That's one gram. Yeah, they weigh one gram. So immediately they'll start reacting. Make sure you start the stop clock immediately once that bank has been replaced. So we'll measure the volume of gas produced in 30 seconds. 10. Okay, 10 centimeters cubed. Yes. So we produced 10 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide in 30 seconds and now we need to compare repeating the same experiment but using a lower concentration of hydrochloric acid. We're now going to repeat the experiment this time using a lower concentration of acid. So notice that our independent variable in this experiment is the concentration of acid. That is what we are changing. Our dependent variable, what we're measuring, is the volume of carbon dioxide produced in 30 seconds. Our control variables, what we need to keep the same, will involve the mass of the marble chips, their surface area, the volume of acid added, the temperature, quite difficult to control because we're in a lab environment. But these are all things you should be aware of. 25 cubic centimeter. stop clock has been started, bung replaced, carbon dioxide will be being produced. Okay, now the volume produced is four. So we produced four centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide and that's in comparison to when we had the much stronger acid when we produced 10 centimeters cubed. So we can see that the rate of reaction is much quicker with the higher concentration. In order to calculate the rate of reaction, it's a simple equation which is change in volume over time and then you'll actually get a numerical value that you can compare properly. 